This is Family on YouTube. Down, you're just gonna sweep. Keep this foot on the floor, push that. Coming up and open, yes. And you can take a second to get there. You don't have to be like right there. I've had a lot of different teachers in my life and I think they all have a different teaching style. You can be really old school and very harsh. A lot of the ballet teachers can be like that and I've had teachers like that. And then others that are really supportive and I think that that shaped me into the teacher that I am. I require a lot from the dancers, but I give a lot of incentive. Feel that? Do you feel energy in your hands? Yeah. You should. They're like, oh, I'm tired. No. Yeah, you gotta feel that, okay? I believe in teaching with love. I believe in teaching with encouragement. I believe that people shine when they feel good. Yes, get your hips up, show me that position. Try and match everyone that's around you. I'm hard on them. And in, up. That's nice, so we'll go. But with a lot of love. How brave are you? Pretty brave. <laughs> Try me. Okay, how strong are you? Pretty strong. Pretty strong, okay. <laughs> so you basically are gonna get, you're gonna jump and you're gonna take, you're gonna be under hips. You guys are gonna go down to legs. I could not have been more excited to have somebody so inspiring to teach us and to learn from because every choreographer has something exciting to offer and you can learn so much from guest artists. So I, I'm really happy to have a different teacher and learn from someone else. The two places on the human body that give off the most energy to another person are the eyes and the palms of the hands. And I think as dancers, that's really powerful. So just knowing, like, if you send your focus forward, how much energy you're going to send out to the audience, needless to say, if you actually open your hands. So it's we're just so exciting, and it's such a great experience for all the dancers and myself and the studio as a whole. It's, it's been really exciting for everyone. If you can think about what we talked about and what you're trying to overcome in the piece, it helps a lot. And it helps fill all those moments that aren't dance steps. Because there's a lot to be said in the silence of the steps, not just the movement of the steps. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. You're welcome.